Hey everybody, there she is. Hey everybody, my name's Scott, the channel's JD Man. This is take two. Did this yesterday with my uh, drift and for some reason it's not letting me uh, take any data off the cord. Um, as you can see, you see that dash, that should tell you, I uh, finally got my Desert X that I've been wanting here for the past, well, since 2019 when they first brought it out at ICMA. I saw that on videos and I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, I'm glad they didn't go with the Scrambler uh, chassis. That they just went and made a whole new one. Um, but, uh, yeah. I can't... Uh, it, it's been a long ride with this, you know, in 22 when they come out it's a little bit of a story here just to give you background up I'm gonna do um, I'll be doing videos on it this is just my a little bit of a story of what what led up to this thing here and uh, you know I got lots of goodies on the way want to get her fitted too bad and like people say the quick shifter you get it under a certain rpm it's it's pretty rough <laughs> i was surprised i can see why some guys are like does this thing i even have one but uh it'll go i uh yeah yesterday went to pass somebody and it was triple digits no problem pretty quick um but yeah 22 when they were first coming out I went and talked to my dealer and they said you know they were only getting so many and that you uh, you know had to put deposit down and that they were all spoken for okay and that they weren't getting any more in for 2022 so I'm like, okay, because <clears throat> I did. I was gonna put, <clears throat> I was gonna put money down on one actually. Um, but yeah, he checked, and the salesman called me back. He's like, hey, you know, we're. I'm, I think I did give him money, and he gave it back. I said it was two years ago, but about May, two years ago, and. Uh, He's like, no, we, we're not even gonna bother because we're not we're not even gonna get any more in for this year. And I'm like, okay, you know. So I, you know, when I get it in my mind that I want something, you know, I do what I can to make it happen. So I wanted a bike summer 22, and I was just looking and I saw that. Aprilia Dorsa Duro 900 come up where I buy a lot of my bikes at and you know it had less than a thousand miles and really nice so I was like well I'm gonna get you know it's kind of you know it's a supermoto tall bike like this and that so I bought it and then wasn't long after that Ducati had on their Instagram page some you know advertisement for one of these you know get yours you know get yours today or you know so I I left a comment on it uh, because I'd seen you know they're giving these things out you know press bikes to youtubers and this and that and you know I know I'm my channel ain't shit but uh, 
giving it a giving up I, I think you should have like at least a hundred thousand subs to be getting press bikes I don't know that's just me and uh Hey, some guy out west, they gave him one for like a freaking month. <laughs> and and, I, and I, you know, I, my comment was, you know, you all need to have them on the showroom floor and so, so, you know, people that actually want to buy them can get them instead of hand them up, you know, for uh, press to use. Because, you know, you know if you want something. Well, I, I didn't. I never even rode this bike. I sat on it just to make sure I fit on it. Um, whenever they come in, so I get a DM then from Ducati. You know, can we call you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And um, it's like the president or vice president of marketing for North America. Yeah, so it sounded like he was from the uh, UK, he had a British accent, I forget his name, I have it it's written down somewhere, but uh, we were talking and he, he's like, you know, you can order one, I said, well, the dealer told me that there was no more coming in for 22, and, you know, after what I just went through, waiting 14, 15 months to get my Bronco, because I had just got it in May of 22 or March 21 I said I'm not doing that again if it's not on the floor then I don't you know I'm not messing with it. I'm not waiting you know not knowing so and I said anyway I bought an Aprilia he goes oh you you did I said yeah I bought one so yeah you know, he's he, you know I told us you know I, I'm kind of a Ducati guy you know I start telling him he goes we we know what you have I'm like, okay <laughs> I guess they checked up on me before they contacted me and uh, yeah that made me feel good so wasn't too long after that that uh, I see the dealership had gotten one of these in so I took the wife and we went and I, I said I wanted to sit on them and that's the first time I saw one in person just to see if I fit it and this and that it worked out good and so I'm like you know I thought you said you weren't getting any more 22 and he goes well that's a 23 model <laughs> I'm like jeez and I said if I would have known that I would have waited so, you know, me being me, in October, I was like, I was moving heaven and earth, like trying to get get this bike and uh, trade in the, the Dorsodoro, and it just, I was too far upside down in that bike, and they weren't giving me anything for it, they, they don't, they don't want a Prilia, I'm, Unless I get a hell of a deal on an Aprilia or a Triumph anymore, I'm not... Triumph not so much, but the Aprilias... I'm not... I'm not buying them anymore, because you just... You lose your rear end when you go to trade them in. Yeah, great bikes. They, uh, don't get me wrong, I, I, that North Star, I really liked it, but this, this is what I had my heart set on. So didn't work out so I kind of like you know like well I'm just gonna have to wait and you know it's always in the back of my mind and uh, I don't know I don't know what I was I think was what because I want to do BDRs with this I was watching some videos and it's like I got to get that see if I can get that Desert X you know and so I uh, asked you know, give me a deal. You know, I trade I traded in the uh, Speed Triple and the Dorsch Thorough. Of course, I really they, they were giving me the because I was going to trade the Speed in in 22 as well, and they gave me the same money as what they were going to give me back then. So it, you know, it's at its slowest depreciation because it's 2012 and. 
and they even hit me harder on the Aprilia but still they ended up they gave me a heck of a deal on this bike because come to find out this bike here is the one I sat on in 22 and the salesman told me that they didn't sell any desert sleds none I'm like you got to be kidding me this nope we didn't sell one I said with all how everybody's raving about these on you know everywhere about how great they are so I just can't believe that and uh, so they, they had this bike for over five 500 days I think he said 522 whenever I got it he said we just need to, you know we just happy to get rid of it but you know but it they gave me I'm not gonna say but they gave me a hell of a price on this bike hell of a price so picked it up you know and it's like it I must it, you know I was meant to have this bike I guess and just like the uh, what the heck's all this crap here um, just like the RSV4 that ended up that was the same bike I took you know on a road test when I ended up buying it months later and uh, and you hear that clunk so got it home it, it on this is Monday so it on Thursday it'll be three weeks that I've had it and yesterday Sunday that yesterday is the first day I rode it it only had four miles on it from the dealer now I'm up to 52 and because uh, I right after I got it we got some real nasty weather snowing and that so then ride it I uh, then I ended up getting, I was, I was out of, I missed, I missed freaking like eight days of work. I was sick, man. That's the first time I've ever been sick like that. I told the boss, because I don't use sick days, and I told the boss, it's, man, you know, it's just not good. And so finally then yesterday, I went to back, back to work Saturday, and yesterday it was a beautiful day. I was like, I'm riding. It's going to take me some time to get used to it because it is different. I never rode a 21 inch wheel on the street. It it falls in the turns. It's like it'll stay there though. <laughs> it's weird. But I got to get used to it. I've been playing my clutch here. I got to get try and get that lever adjusted right. Or I, well, I like it but uh, the brakes and everything and the throttle just I got to learn the bike. So alrighty this is the end of the ride. So just stay tuned because we'll be doing more on this. Like I said, I got want to get her kitted up for some off-road rides and uh, go from there. So again, my name's Scott. Channel's JD Man. Y'all.